So YouTube has announced back months ago that they will be doing a YouTube Shorts live stream, guys. That is right. You are hearing me correct. YouTube Shorts live stream, man. And that is remarkable and game changing for a lot of streamers who are coming from either Twitch or just any other platform right now because the biggest thing, right, is, has always been discoverability. And we also know that as well, just as much as uh, YouTube, TikTok also has a wonderful thing where people are getting discovered huge on their TikTok live stream. So I think YouTube now has is going to be implementing kind of basically the same thing, guys. But it is amazing, guys. This is so awesome. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump over to YouTube blog real quick so I can get a kind of an introduction on what we're talking about and exactly what was said because I don't want to misconstrue anything that I, you know, anything to say to that or they say more or less. Let's go. So, guys, on the YouTube official blog, guys, I, I, I want to read exactly what it says, right? It says, go live and get discovered on shorts. We're excited to share that we're now testing a mobile first vertical live experience so live creators can get discovered right in the shorts feed. That's what I'm talking about right there, guys. To get discovered on short feed, over 2.7 billion people watching you, ridiculous. Viewers in the test will see previews of vertical videos mixed into the shorts feed. As someone taps in the experience, they'll be placed in a scrollable feed of other live videos. So to bring that back to what they're trying to say, guys, that any right now, any YouTuber can go live and do this right now, whether that's on phone, or on a one setup PC, which I'll show you guys here in a minute. But the viewer side, they're still kind of niching it out right now, basically. Right now, it's still technically an experiment, guys. So don't think that right now you can go into it and be like, oh, I'll get discovered by billions of people or now, or millions of people right now. That's not happening right now. Right now, they're still testing it. And uh, yeah, and I'm pretty sure that later on, they will let us know when they're going to be actually uh, releasing that. But anyway, let's continue. So this is also a great opportunity for creators who recently joined the YouTube Partner Program with lower, new lower eligibility requirements to unlock these fan bundles. While nothing has changing on how creators go live today, which is just a new, a new full screen experience for viewers gradually over the coming months, that means the live creators will now have the opportunity to get discovered in more places, guys. That is amazing. And this is just a little show you how it's gonna look basically. As you can see, she's up there walking up a mountain. They said a little lapping. They click on it, bam. There you live for you, man. So that is absolutely amazing, man. I cannot wait for that. It's going to be just, just greatness. <laughs> and so I, I can say, but really though, I can say guys that really this is going to be uh, astronomical, guys. This is going to be great, especially for those uh, that just coming over to YouTube or in general, just want to be able to get discovered better on their streams. So with that being said, I have experiment with this already guys now of course i haven't of course having any viewers that did come through i have been basically kind of getting involved in it trying to make sure that i can like I'll say okay let me try this let me see how it goes and yeah this is what i basically got right here i just want to guys want to show you and then after that i'll show you exactly how to do it so guys as you can see i have been trying this out trying this experiment out basically and i used to put on their live party man on shorts feed shorts feed live with the whoop and so far it's come out good so i've been able to actually live stream here as you can see but also doing it at the same time doing it on my other channel as or doing it at the same time as my big channel so guys if you guys check on the right side guys it's uh my full flesh screen that has got going on and on the left side i have my vertical side going on at the exact same time so uh, a lot of times, a lot of people would go into my vertical side and they would be like, hey, why is your stuff vertical? This is weird. And I was like, hey, go on the stream, go to the other one, you'll be okay. But I got two streams up going on. So that way, when because you have to, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you have to have it in vertical form. You have to have it in mobile form in order for it to go into the shorts feed. Again, this is still experimental, but just kind of getting into the rhythm of things, I think would definitely help out a lot. I'm telling you, this is going to be extraordinary. Let me show you guys how I actually do this. So you guys, yeah, can basically know. All right, guys. So we here, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to do this. How to, how are you gonna make two separate streams on one thing? So let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna go up here to create, go live. Once you get to this here, I will go to my manage schedule a stream go ahead and schedule a stream i'm going to use the exact same one i used before if you're brand new to this you're going to go ahead and create a new one 
uh, but I'm gonna just use my my the one I already used. It's the exact same thing you guys are gonna see here. So once you get all these details here, get everything you want, your gaming and everything else, and I was gonna ask you some other different things to schedule time. You're gonna go ahead and push done. Once you're done that, this is probably the most important part here that I never knew this whole entire time. So right here where it says stream key, uh, select a stream key. You can actually make a brand new stream key. See, I have multiple ones, some for 1440, some for 2K. So, and also you can also use this for HDR streaming. OBS is, I think right now, I think, I don't know if it's true, I may be wrong, but OBS as of right now is the only one I know that actually does HDR streaming. So, once you click on that, you're gonna go ahead and create new stream. So, once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and name it. So we're gonna name this test, right? And then we're gonna keep to RTMP, because again, HLS is for HDR screaming. And then you're gonna go ahead and press create. So now you have a brand new string key, right? Which is crazy. <laughs> so you, what you're gonna do is that uh, if you're into OBS, as I'll, I'll show you guys uh, later on, if you're to OBS and you're already signed in, most of the time when you create one like I just did here, it's going to ask you, hey, which stream do you want? So for instance, I use my other one, I used it as, so if we go to it, you'll see I have named it short stream live stream. Short live stream guys, sorry about that. And so because of that, I know exactly which one it is. And this also stays into my stream key for uh, when I go to my vertium, uh, vertical on my OBS. So this is always gonna stay the same. So I always make sure whenever I'm doing my shorts, I always make sure I click into this. And then when I go to my second one, so as you can see, got one here, I go and screen schedule another stream. So I always put this one here. So again, you're doing the exact same thing. You're gonna redo the exact same thing. You're gonna go through the whole process. You can just copy and paste if you want to from your other one. I'm gonna go through it, push done. And now you have two ones. So this is going to stay to my default because my default is what I usually stream on all the time. So now you have two separate streams going on with two different keys now, which is absolutely weird. Again, didn't never knew this for the longest time until I actually got into down and researched everything. So, but yeah, that's how you do it, guys. You guys basically, you're going to make two separate keys. You're going to take that one key that's on your shorts. When you go to your OBS, when we flip over to it, I'll show you exactly where you put it in that. And then once you put it in there, that's it. That's it's easy peasy. Let's go ahead and jump over to the OBS right now. Let's go. All right, guys. So we're here on the OBS, guys. Now we're on this side. My old video got corrupted, guys. So I had to make a new one. Sorry. <laughs> but no, if you guys check on here, guys. So what we're going to do is if you go ahead and sign into your YouTube account through OBS, what you want to do next is you want to go ahead and go to your manage broadcast and select existing uh, broadcast. And the reason why we do this is because that way you can see both live streams that we had set up. And what I suggest you do, honestly, is make sure you uh, name one shorts and name one that regular or whatever so that way you know the difference so that way you don't accidentally push the shorts one and then you stream it on shorts on your regular and if you try to do it on the vertical side it actually won't let you do it, it actually compete and says hey this is something not right you have two streaming keys so just make sure you uh name one shorts name one uh regular so that way you don't have to worry about that mistake once we do that then we're going to go ahead and go into the uh settings of uh the atrium so as you guys see, it's pretty easy. So going into your streamer, you're gonna scroll up. And this is right here when you're gonna put your key for your uh, short slash in the brand new one that we had just made. And that's pretty it guys, it's pretty simple. Um, if you want to guys wanna use these settings as well, you guys are more than welcome to. I have about a gig of internet, so I use about 10,000 just because I just wanna make sure that it looks pretty good. But if you guys have lower internet speed, you guys can do about eight, I say about 8,000 would be good. So uh, if you guys wanna check these out and see if these work for you, if not, then let me know down below and I can try to help you out. But really and truly, that's it guys. Once you mainly do it on the YouTube side, really this part, a vertical atrium, the man hair shell, has actually made it pretty simple. So that is 
pretty awesome so but thank you guys so much if you guys have any questions about anything comment down below let me know what you guys think about the new youtube shorts live that's going to be coming out will it help you out as a live streamer also uh if you have any comments or questions about just the setup in general hit me up down below so i stream tuesdays thursdays friday and saturday guys if you guys have any questions you want to come in while we do gameplay and also make sure you guys like and subscribe this it would definitely help you out for the freaking video but thank you guys so much for being awesome. You guys have a wonderful night. I'll see you guys next time, guys. Peace out. See ya.